All right, back in. Oops. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so I love tower defense games. And like as tower defense games go, this one's very simple. But just the idea that it's also a third person shooter is really cool. There's frankly not enough games like this. Aha, with the old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over, I can draw on the full power of the rift. I'll get a new toy to play uh, with. Oh yeah, also. A rift. These are other things. But th this is usually unlocked way, way later. And you also don't get it in um, nightmare mode by default. There's a lot to learn. I, I suppose I expected this. Hmm. This just doesn't seem fair. Ooh, shiny. So doing that lets me bunch them all up better. Here they come. So yeah, this is th there's a lot of really good things in this game, but one of them is like the player has to learn to fight orcs in a way that's the most strategically advantageous. And so, like, I could put a bunch of traps around that door, but then when the other orcs come through, well, what'll happen? Then those traps will be doing nothing for me. And so, if I put it here at the at this choke point, Just in case any of them get past. And we also have a paladin back here to help out. In these early stages, it's pretty simple. Because they're just teaching you. But yeah, the use of this this game is a very very like simple story, and it basically is just like you guys know what fantasy is. It's like that, which I know that that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's as though the writers are literally saying, "Hey, you know you know what all these things are? All right, you get it." The only unique thing are the rifts themselves. They're a teleport gauge system that allow uh, instantaneous travel. And it's why you have a lot more globalization than would typically be present in medieval times. Since travel times are a very significant thing in um, most medieval stuff, you know? Very well, then. You know what you want. But yeah, that's a cool concept, I think. Um, and then obviously the nature of orcs uh, jumping through rifts means that there can be an army at your house at any time of day. Just, you know, basically anywhere that a train station can appear, an army of large green brutes can just show up. Which is obviously bad. This is a DLC weapon, but I can use it to get health back in exchange for mana. But I can also burn my own health in exchange for mana. Alright. Decisive. I like that. So I actually really like playing with um, Guardians and stuff, but like... Is that all? I'm doing fine. I kind of don't need them. I guess I'll put them up just because. Go then. See if I care. 
I don't remember the Weavers being in the sequel. Kind of a shame. They're cool. So yeah, sometimes I literally like... It is a bit silly, but I'm literally like lamenting how simple this game's story is. And like, sometimes I don't even know if I should bother. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I don't know if I should be caring about it. You know, the game came out and it just said, hey, we just want to have a, a game where you kill stuff. And in, you know, other games, you have something like robots or skeletons who don't have their own identity or autonomy. So, of course, they're evil. But in this game, we have orcs. And, like, one of the things about orcs another is that day, another fortress, another rift to defend. Tolkien himself was always, always like, disappointed in, in orcs. In how he that. like. Oh yeah, he's. Okay. We'll make a good team. You're okay, you know that. He was always disappointed in in orcs and how he could never get them to work right. Yeah, I have a cooler sword and a cooler crossbow now because I bought that thing. But yeah, he never liked that they were just an evil race, you know? Because the idea of them being, you know, corrupted and it's not super their fault is weird, you know? He didn't like that. The idea that they're corrupted because of their own choices is, you know, a bit better because then it's like, well, you shouldn't have done that, you know? They were villains already and it just, they later gained a, you know, gross evil appearance. Warning, may cause death. I'll swap those later. I don't know why they're doing that. Yeah, the regular orcs are fine. What's happening? Sorry, I just wanted to see if I could ignite the oil. I know that I probably couldn't, and that doesn't make that much sense, but I wanted to see. Yeah, as for why they went with orcs, it lets them use uh, the rest of the fantasy aesthetic stuff. As well as this cool, like, you know, clock punk stuff. Like, um. Uh, like, in the next game, you get a blunderbuss. And, like. Hey, I love blunderby. Blunderbusses. Blunderbussy. What's the plural of. Not important. The point is. Is that, like. You know, they wanted to have some fun cartoon violence with, with blood and, and, you know, limb chunks going everywhere. Like, let me... Yeah, see? They explode. That's fun. They like... thing that you notice with a lot of um, games like this, but if you ever let the orcs get past, or whatever the enemy is, 
If you ever let them get past your like defenses, sometimes what you have just falls apart. 